I definitely don't think that you have to take private lessons in order to progress in the language. But if you choose to do that, it's important that you do your research. That's why in this video, I'm going to be reviewing the amazing Talker platform, a platform I've personally been using for the past three months. Honestly, at first I thought it was a little bit sketchy. I'm going to show you a few basics about how it works and then even give you a few things to think about for you to decide if this is the right platform for you to take private lessons in your ba or Ibo. So stay tuned. Hey, welcome to Hack Nigerian Languages. I'm Krista. And if you're new here, this is the channel for the tips, tricks, and product reviews to help you be successful in navigating the process of learning Yoruba or learning Igbo. So be sure to subscribe. And be sure to watch all the way to the end because I'm going to tell you how you can participate in a free workshop that's going to show you what are the 100% essentials for you to progress in learning Yoruba or learning Igbo, regardless of whether or not you choose to take private lessons. Now let's get into it. So first off, what is Amazing Talker? So Amazing Talker is an online language learning platform that has been around since 2016. It is a Taiwanese-based company. They have more than 60 languages that you can learn on the platform. The number one language on there is probably English because English is the language of power. But they also have Yoruba and Igbo. So before I get to the pros and cons, let me show you a few basic things about how the website works to help you decide whether or not this is the right platform for you. So when you are first going to the website, I do highly suggest that you type in en and then amazingtalker.com. Otherwise, the interface by default might show up in Chinese and that's not really helpful unless you speak Chinese. So let's do that. And then you see this is the page. You'll see that I'm already signed in, but just to act like I am signing in for the first time or signing up. So if you want to sign up, then you'll see that you have the choice to sign in with your Google or Facebook credentials, which is nice, or you can kind of uh, make up your own. I'm going to sign in with Google. All right, so you see that this is the web page, just a few things. Um, the interface can get kind of messy sometimes, as you might see, um, but it's the kind of thing that you might just get used to. Um, AI might even suggest the languages that they feel like you might be interested in already, as you see here. Um, here's the student onboarding guide, kind of giving you a few steps to go through. You have the notifications bell where you have your messages. And then here you have the profile information. Um, note that if you click on lesson schedule, it's going to take you to this exact same page, which is annoying. Um, but that's just the way that it is. Another kind of unfortunate thing about the interface. So say we wanted to learn Ebo. Let's see what we have. So currently there are only two Ebo tutors on the platform and you'll see that they vary in terms of their prices. Um, they can choose to offer both 25 and 50 minute lessons. That is the norm. Now let's see what we have for Yoruba. And you'll see that there are currently four tutors on the platform, which is a few more, and they also vary in their prices that they offer for 25 minute and 50 minute sessions. Um, I highly suggest that whichever tutor you're interested in, that you really look into their profile, look at the reviews and see what it says. Um, if you want to book a trial lesson, click the green button. If you've already booked a lesson with them, it's probably just gonna say book lesson, um, but you can book a lesson directly from this page like that. Uh, my current tutor is Ruth. I've had a really good experience with her. So say if you wanted to look more into a person's profile, you can see a description. Most tutors have a video up that you can look at as well. There's a schedule and the reviews. I do highly suggest that you look through the reviews, really get a sense of what the teacher is like, what experiences people are having with this teacher are they learning so if you want to schedule a lesson from this page you can choose a package either a trial lesson or just a one-off lesson or you can choose lessons in bulk let's say we just wanted to do a trial so under learn you will choose the category um, i've accidentally chosen you're about for children before and it doesn't really make a difference it's just kind of for record keeping purposes um, but let's choose you are before adults and then you're going to choose how many lessons you want to buy at one time and what kind trial or a normal lesson. And it's nice because if you want to buy lessons in bulk, you can, or you can just buy them one off. You do get a slight price, price discount if you buy them in bulk. Um, so you see the order total there. You would check the box and click 
pay. Um, after that, it's going to take you directly to the page where you can schedule your lesson and choose a time and it's going to wait for the tutor approval. Now, you can only log in to the class session on Zoom um, once it's 10 minutes before your scheduled class. I don't have a scheduled class right now, but I'm going to have one later. So I will be back. All right, so now it's time for my class. So I'm going to scroll down. You can see here that it is time for class to begin. I'll click on into the classroom. I'll scroll down again and then click on go to class, which happens in Zoom, which is super convenient. All right, and then this is where my class will be. So overall, I don't think that it is bad as a platform at all. Like I said, it's worked for me. I've used it for the past three months and have been happy with the way that it works, have been happy with the results. So the pros are definitely number one, the Zoom integration, right? Especially with the COVID-19 pandemic, a lot of us are very familiar with Zoom, so that's gonna feel very familiar to you. You'll be able to use it with ease, most likely. The second pro is definitely the payment options. I've looked into taking private lessons before and are always super irritated when you have to pay up front like $500. Like who would do that before you even know whether or not you like it? Like who would do that? So the fact that you can pay individually per each lesson is a huge pro for me. And if you want to get a little bit of a price decrease and pay for lessons in bulk, you have that option too. So I love the fact that you have options there. And then the last pro is definitely that it is super easy to communicate with your tutor. They have an online chat format right within the interface. I've used that chat feature in order to communicate questions with my tutor so that she knows things to pinpoint in our upcoming lesson. Your tutor might also share their email address as well, so you can communicate that way. But I love having that integrated chat feature in the interface because it just gives you options about how to communicate with them. It feels super easy and super convenient. Cons, there's definitely a slight learning curve with the interface. Like I said, not super intuitive, but if you get used to it, it doesn't really stop me from using it at least. Another con is that you might see slightly higher prices than you might see on another platform. Unsurprisingly, the Amazing Tucker platform does take a commission from each tutor. Right now, I think it can be up to about 30%. And that is higher than the commission that other platforms take from their teachers. And that is one of the things that has caused the prices to be maybe slightly higher than what you might see on other platforms, especially for Yoruba, I think. But I do think it's useful to keep in mind that for other languages, it is completely normal to find hourly rates of like $30 or even upward. I've seen $100 in something before. So to pay $12 or $20 for a lesson in Yoruba or Igbo might not be that bad if you're sure that you wanna take that investment. The last con perhaps is that there's not tons of options. Reasons for that I'm guessing, maybe since they have a higher commission, there is less incentive for teachers to sign up to teach on that platform. So if you are somebody that really feels like you need to be able to test out lots of different types of tutors, test out how you vibe with each different tutor individually in terms of their personality, their teaching style, then this may not be the best platform for you. But if you are someone who is completely sure that you wanna start taking lessons, you're completely sure that you wanna make that investment and you just want something that is accessible, that is easy, you don't feel like you need to shop around a whole lot, this platform can definitely help you improve in your Yoruba or Igbo skills. Now, if you've been trying to learn Yoruba or learn Igbo, and maybe you haven't seen as much progress as you had hoped, or if you just are not sure if you're on the right path or not, be sure to watch this video because it gives you three game-changing concepts that can really transform your language learning process. Be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel because I'm gonna be posting more weekly videos to help you on your Yoruba or Igbo language learning journey. And most importantly, I don't want you to miss out on the free upcoming workshop. So be sure to click on that link below. I'm going to be spilling all the secrets, showing you how you can improve in the process of learning Yoruba or learning Igbo, regardless of whether or not you choose to take private lessons. So be sure to click on that link below, sign up and reserve your spot. So I really hope that you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments below, what is your number one question about learning Yorba or learning Igbo? We'll see you next time.